Dear colleagues, it was with a great pleasure that you received the invitation letter to record in the present video regarding our study, stability of first and second premolars extraction space closure. We thank the AJOGO for the opportunity and the CAPS agency that providing the funding for this research as a scholarship to Dr. Mayara Hizu. The background that led to this research was a type of relapse that can occur after orthodontic treatment with extractions. Specifically, the chance of extraction space reopening at post-treatment. Previous studies have found that the greater the amount of anterior retraction performed in the treatment, the greater the chance of extraction space relapse at post-treatment. Considering this and taking into account that first and second premolar crown mesial distal size is different, it was reasonable to speculate that the extraction space closure stability could also be different in patients treated with first or second premolar extractions. Therefore, the aim of our study was to compare extraction space closure stability in cases treated with first or second premolar extractions. Two groups matched regarding several variables were compared, and it was found that Extraction space closure stability is similar when first or second paramolars are extracted. Considering all the quadrants that were completely closed at the end of treatment, it was a tendency for slightly greater reopened spaces in the maxillary arch when first paramolars are extracted. However, despite this statistically significant difference, it was not great enough to be considered clinically relevant. Therefore, it can be concluded that first and second premolar extraction space closure stability is similar and this issue should not be a decisive factor at the moment of the choice for the teeth to be extracted. We would like to thank Dr. Guilherme Jansson and to highlight that he was the responsible for the project conceptualization. And at last, we invite you to check the in memoriam section that Dr. Daniela and I wrote in respect of his passing in July 30, 2021. We miss him too much to this day. Thank you very much for your attention and feel free to make contact.